Hey friends, McDonald's Halloween buckets are back. I've already got mine. Yeah, we have McDonald's here in Alaska. Got my Skeletor costume on and I am ready to do some trick or treating. Although I won't lie, a little disappointed in these pals. They are smaller than what I recall and uh, no lid. They fooled us with the advertising. Although no lids is something that would become common as you'll soon see. I was wondering how much candy we could fit into this sucker. So uh, I did a little experiment. How many standard pieces do you think? Ready? One, two, we'll speed it up. 41. That's actually not too bad if you're a little kid. 43 year old man, maybe not so much. And while these pals are all right and certainly bring back notes of nostalgia from the 80s and my childhood, I would kill for one of the originals. <laughs> Good thing we've got this time warp in my retro attic in Anchorage. We're gonna take it back to 1986 to see the beginning of these buckets and trace their progression right up to current day. But first things first, please subscribe for more content that's gonna make you feel nostalgic for the 80s and the 90s. All right, let's fire this sucker up to 88 miles an hour and head on back. 1986, we saw Critters, Poltergeist 2, The Fly, and Little Shop of Horrors hit the big screen. Feed me! Where am I supposed to get it? Feed me, Seymour. But all of those would pale in comparison to the Halloween goodness McDonald's brought us when it released its first trio of Halloween buckets. What do you put in your McDonald's Halloween pumpkins? Booty and McDonald's. Matey, Carrot and the Goblin, Golden Mitt Pumpkin, partner. Now you can collect one of three different pumpkins with the purchase of every McDonald's Halloween Pumpkin Happy Meal. What you put in them is up to you. For kids like us, these would become a must-have during the spookiest of seasons. All three of these orange Happy Meal holders were made to look like jack-o'-lanterns. Although just one of them actually was, that would be McPunkin. Then you had McBoo, the ghost, and McGoblin, which had the most terrifying of faces. After you finish your burger and fries inside, it then doubled as your candy cash on Halloween. Although a bag or pillowcase probably would have been better for maximum sugar storage, let's be honest. Now, where the pals lacked in storage size, they definitely made up in their overall appeal. We loved them. After the candy was gone, we stored figures and Legos and stickers and whatever else we deemed valuable at eight years old. McBoo, McCoblin, McPumpkin. They would return in 87 before going on hiatus in 1988. This back and forth, as you'll see, would become pretty common. In 1989, they returned with a new look. McBoo was more ghostly. Now a white pal with a new face. McPumpkin was replaced with McWitch. Her bucket was green with a pointy witch's hat. McGoblin would remain unchanged. Now you can get McDonald's Happy Meal Pails for Halloween! 1990 McDonald's steps it up a notch. McBoo now glows in the dark. Glows in the dark. Glows in the dark. I love anything and everything that glows in the dark. Ooh. <laughs> McWitch gets some big dark eyes while the menacing McGoblin is replaced with the much happier McPunkin. Welcome back, McPunkin. 1991, instead of pals, we get the vinyl McBoo bags, which if we're being honest, not as cool, but likely held way more candy. So there's that. 1992, they're back with cookie cutter lids. Yeah, you could roll out the dough, make yourself some festive cookies. McWitch would have a slightly different smile and now has a nose. McBoo no longer glows in the dark, which is super disappointing, but does have a set of hands. So there's that. 1993, no pals. 1994, the pals are back with more cartoonish faces and those cookie cutter lids. McWitch is now purple, while McBoo, a tiny face and multiple ghosts floating about. Then no pals from 1995 to 1998. 1999, this is where the pals jumped the shark. They were just never the same after this. They're showing up at McDonald's for frightfully fun Halloween pails. One comes with each happy meal you buy. The faces were gone. They were just buckets with Halloween scenes on them. Eventually, they don't even resemble pumpkins anymore. And no more lids, although stickers inside have now become the norm. McDonald's gave it the good old college try in 2011 with these. It seemed to be more about sponsorship opportunities for McDonald's. They would appear sporadically with Scooby-Doo, maybe Mr. Potato Head. The last round in 2016 gave homage to one of the all-time great Halloween shows. It's the Great Pumpkin! He's rising up out of the pumpkin patch! It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Six years later, 2022, the announcement so many of us had been waiting for comes via Twitter. McDonald's Halloween buckets 
are back. So what do you think? Are you headed to your local McDonald's to pick up yours? Did you already? What do you think of them? And what are your fondest memories of McDonald's Halloween Pals when you were a kid? Let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe for more content that's gonna make you feel nostalgic for the 80s and the 90s. Don't go anywhere just yet. There's more content that'll make you feel nostalgic for fast food. Click on this video right here. And that'll do it. I'm Jimmy Gattis. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.